Coming up on American Trucker, an adventure I was born to take. It's so cool. <sighs> Evil Knievel, daredevil, truck lover. Nobody did anything like Evil Knievel did. Evil spirit is all around me right now. And his custom rig hasn't been seen in decades. Well, I'm about to change all of that. I think it's worthwhile trying to find it and rescue it. Did you hear what I said to you? It's a mission that is beyond crazy, which means it's just my style. It's time to shift into tall gear. I will find evil if it's elastic. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm an Elvis fan. But as far as I'm concerned, this guy was the king. Everything today that is quote unquote extreme, oh, you can thank the guy on the bike. Nobody went higher, nobody went farther, and nobody was cooler than Evil Knievel. And not only did he like to jump Mack trucks, he had one. It was a one-of-a-kind rig that knocked me out when I was a kid. And in 81, when he retired, the rig pretty much fell off the map, and that's not okay. This is Bill's in Sanford, Florida, and it's my hangout. I'm hunting for a very, very, very special lost celebrity big rig, and it's rumored to be in Florida, but that's about all I have to go hunt right now. I'm gonna chat with Bill and Lou. I got another little mission. Uh-oh. This is a 74 Mac that Evil had custom made. This thing is legendary. Rumor is that it's in a salvage yard in Florida somewhere. So I start making calls. I was wondering if you might have some tips. And after an hour on the phone, I finally get a tip from my buddy all the way up there in North Carolina, Brad White. Bradster, what's up? I've got a hot tip on the lost hauler rig that was Evil Knievel's, and it's in Ocala, Florida, at a place called Woody's. Shut the heck up, dude. Bombshell number one, but here's bombshell number two. If we can get it, I can get Skeets to come and pick that thing up and get it to our truck show. Kaboom! Explanation needed. Brad Wyke owns a small trucking company called BPW. Every year, he has an awesome vintage truck show. And this year, it's his 10th anniversary. And he wants this rig at that show, which is almost nine hours from here in Taylorsville, North Carolina. If I can find it, it's probably inoperable. So it'll need to be towed. Enter Skeet. And he doesn't own a local towing company, oh no. Skeet's towing is also from North Carolina, over 500 miles away. But he's the only guy we trust with a mission like this. Now for the bad news. It's Thursday. The truck show is this Saturday. Now this is my kind of adventure. And to top it all off, who agreed to drive? Off to Woody's in Ocala! You know that I got a real problem for vintage big rigs. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like I'm on a crusade to save every one I can get my hands on. In this case, see, it's got a pedigree, so I think it's worthwhile trying to find it and rescue it. Brad is 100% confident that this tip is legit. So he's going to be sending Skeet down here tonight so that he can be standing by tomorrow. I guess that means I have to find this rig or I'm in big trouble. You never know when you're hunting for legendary rigs like this one right here. Sometimes the tip sounds good, and then it ends up being a dud. But we're going to find out now, aren't we? An hour and a half later, and we have arrived. I'm supposed to hook up with the manager, Dan. It's my kind of place already, Lou. A friend of mine, he was told that the evil Knievel rig was resting somewhere <laughs> in the bowels of Woody's awesome, awesome, awesome Boneyard. Dan is skeptical that the hauler is back there. But hey, he said go look around. And he gave us his cool cart to ride around in, which is a good thing because this is a big place. I see all kinds of stuff. Old stuff. Rain, sleet, or snow cannot stop me from the truck junkyard. I know it. There's a truckload of stuff here. Let's go down this way. OK. So far, no go. The hunt goes on because I'm not done. A dead end. I see a lot of cool stuff, but nothing super big with a trailer on it yet. A few hours in the rain, and I can safely say, Evil's rig, it's not here. I think we hit 
what we call a bad tip. Well, I just remembered, I have one last friend that I can call, American daredevil, Bubba Blackwell. Hey, Bubba, it's Rob. You know that there's this vintage Evil Knievel hauler rig, custom built by Mac in 74, and <laughs> I'm on the hunt for it. That's the most popular truck trailer there ever was. I'm thinking that thing was down in South Florida somewhere, but I'm not mistaken. Bubba's telling me he thinks a guy named Jeff actually owns it, right. and is storing it in Clearwater, Florida which is two hours south of here. Thanks, Bob. I will find evil if it's the last thing I do. Start this baby right on up and get the hell out of Dodge. All right, it's off to Clearwater. We got some evil to find. Coming up, we arrive in Clearwater. We're either gonna be shot down or it's gonna be like winning um, the lottery. But I sure hope we didn't come all this way for nothing. This is why we call it truckology right now. We're excavating, we're digging, we're finding out things. Day one of my Evil Knievel big rig hunt was a bust. But last night I got a serious clue that brought Lou and I here to Clearwater, Florida. I found out from my friend Bubba Blackwell that a guy named Jeff actually owns the rig and he's storing it at a place called Jerry's Custom Cars. So Lou, I'll bet you never thought when I came into Bill's that you'd be involved at this level. No, I didn't. You gotta admit it's fun though, right? Truck hunting? Different, yeah, definitely different. We're finding a uh, historical Mack truck, custom built for the legendary Evil Knievel, which is about as cool as it gets. That guy was definitely the king of cool. All right, we are close. See how it goes. Well, if it's here, we just tacked on two more hours for the trip back to North Carolina. Well, here we go. The very fact that you're standing here it's giving me good it. vibes right now because I think that we might have the rig. You found it, brother. You want to go see it? You know what? I absolutely do, man. I can't thank you enough for this. Holy mackerel, Jeff, right there. Big as life. Holy smokes! Oh, man! Look at it! Oh! <laughs> OK, it's OK. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm very excited. This is like pop culture. Americana beyond Americana. Nobody did anything like Evil Knievel did. Somehow this crazy rig makes sense, because only someone with as much moxie as Evil Knievel would have the audacity to build a truck like this. This truck was the longest truck on the road at the time. He had to get special permits from each state that he would pass through to put this with the trailer on the roads. This is I, something I never, ever, ever thought that I would be standing next to. Evil spirit is all around me right now. How in the world did you come to acquire it? I managed Robbie, Evil's son, for the last five years. We found out where Evil had the truck stored when he died. So you went after it? So I went after it. Great! I found it. Now what? All right? It's wheel and deal time. I don't know what your plan is. Are you gonna, are you, would you sell that or, or, or are you gonna move it? What, what are you gonna do with it? I'd like to restore it. It's obvious he's not going to sell it. Now, I just have to convince Jeff to let me at least show it off a bit because people need to know that this rig is still around. A very good friend of mine, his name is Brad White, he has a collection of 60 vintage big rigs. Mm -hmm. He's got a truck show this Saturday that's in North Carolina. Lucky for me, he's totally down with the idea. In fact, I think that Brad and his guys might be the very crew that could restore this rig. So, this is gonna work out for everyone. I'm gonna literally 
drag this thing out of here and see if we can possibly resurrect Evil Knievel's rig. Brad? Hey, what up? What's up? <laughs> I'm going to tell you what's up. I'm actually leaning on the 74 Mac of Evil oh, Knievel. I, I am looking. Yeah, what kind of shape you well, <laughs> it's got rust on it. The cab is toast. I have to find somebody over here that ha would have tires. This is the culprit. We don't need to swap out all the tires, but we do need enough new rubber that this is a major problem. And you can't find tires that will work for a trailer like this just anywhere. We got to find a tire place. <laughs> do you got a Yellow Pages? We do. Let's go. go. To the office. Don't forget, I'm in a custom car shop, and now it's all making sense because the owner, Jerry, was a good friend of Evil Knievel's. So you've known the rig for a long time, I'm told. 19 years. 19 years you've yep. been the caretaker. Stationary. And you were good friends with, with Evil. Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, I was. So I have an address. Now I just need a ride. Hey, maybe the owner of this 57 Nomad would like to join my circus. Is there any way that I can maybe hit a ride with you in yes, this cool car? Yes, I'd love to give you a ride in this car to the tire shop. Because A, A, I wouldn't a, hesitate. A, it's a Nomad, yep. and B, you're the only one of his customers that's hanging around, and I need to get there. So, okay. plus it's awesome. Oh, the pressure is hitting hard. I have everybody amped up. But if I can't find tires for this trailer, this whole thing is going to come to a screeching halt. I hope this place can help. 825.15s. That's a dinosaur. That's <laughs> exactly what we're saying. Miraculously, Nick tracks some down. I need to get those on the afternoon truck. Yeah, by 3 o'clock. OK, thanks. Go on the way, guys. Do you need some proof that truck tires are expensive? $2,450. Eight tires, 300 bucks a pop. Hey, man, that worked out pretty well. It's perfect. I mean, what are the odds? Oh, this plan is falling into place. Tomorrow, this rig is absolutely going to the show in North Carolina. At least I think so. Up next, look who just showed up. The cavalry has arrived. But then, my luck changes or the worst. We need to get this thing to Brad's, and it doesn't look good right now. We have a major, major problem. Today is literally one of the best days of my life. I have found one of my all-time favorite celebrity rigs, Evil Knievel's show truck. And tomorrow, I will show it to the world at a truck show in North Carolina. The issue is, I'm currently over 600 miles away in Clearwater, Florida, and I have to get it there. But that's no problem. We even tracked down some very hard to find tires so that this rig can make the 11 hour journey. The tires are supposed to show up soon, the tow rigs are supposed to show up soon. This plan has totally fallen into place. All this is going with us, right? Going in the trailer. Yeah, we'll whatever we can trailer. get, we'll put all in the trailer. Yep, yeah, in the trailer. It's 2 p.m. I'm giving two hours once the tires and the tow rigs arrive to get on the road. There is this one last item that may cause a delay. That would be frozen brakes. But we won't know until Skeet's towing arrives. I hear decent. Two tow rigs. One for the truck, one for the trailer. <laughs> Guess what? The cavalry has arrived. Skeet. Hey, buddy. I talked to Brad. He How said you, you guys are on your way. Skeet and Jerry look refreshed, which is surprising because they were on the road all day yesterday, 11 hours from North Carolina. What do you think? This is going to be a job. Oh, it's going to be a job, but you know what? Job. I think we got the right horsepower here yes, to do sir, it. Yes, sir, you sure did. This is an icon, and we can't screw it up. I mean, it's made it this far in its life. But what's the first step you guys got to do to assess what we need to, to do? We need to get it out of here. So we need to drag it out of here? Drag it out of so here. So we're going to see right off the bat if the brakes are locked. Yep, yep. OK, America, Let's see if the brakes are locked. Yeah. Stop. 
storm's coming. Adding insult to injury. You just gotta go with it. All right, out. Now what he's gonna do is he's gonna lock that on there out of that kingpin. That's what he's hammering on right now. You think it's gonna go? One way or another. It's gonna, it's gonna roll or One it's gonna drag, right? It's gonna go. Well, it is Florida. Of course, we aren't gonna let a little rain stop us. Look at this, it's rolling! We're talking it's rolling! The back half of Evil's rig, where his ramps and his motorcycles, rolls again on American Trucker. Did you hear me? One down, one to go. Oh, mama, this is getting exciting. Look at that, that chassis is holding up. Whoa! He's going one yeah. last time. <laughs> Son of a biscuit, it's rolling! I don't even believe it! Evil spirit is alive, and guess what? He's making sure that it rolled. Are all of them rolling? We have some tire changing to do, and then we're gonna get that thing on the interstate and get to North Carolina, because I think we're gonna make the truck show on Saturday. Yes! So far, so good. And to top it all off, when this thing gets to North Carolina, Jeff's got a great idea. This is the legendary Evil Knievel stepping out of this door right here. <laughs> it's like hollow ground. It's so cool. If we get the tires here, which is a major problem for us right now, and we get this thing on the road, we get it to North Carolina to Brad's truck show, Jeff said we can open up the door and go inside the sarcophagus, if you will, and see what kind of treasure we have. Did I speak too soon? Sure I did. It's been two hours since we pulled the rig and the trailer from the weeds and no sign of my tires. What's worse? I can't get anyone on the phone. So right now we have a major, major problem. Saturday is approaching and we need to get this thing to Brad's and it doesn't look good right now. And believe me, it's not an option to pull this rig without new tires. What happened when you're rolling down the interstate if you dragged it on these axles? As hot as it is today and as hot as them roads are out there, yeah. it'll build up heat in this tire. Boom, it'll be like a big explosion. I started today feeling on top of the world, but the clock is seriously ticking, and I am almost ready to push the panic button. Coming up, think things can't get any worse? Well, they do. We're not gonna be able to get tires on this trailer uh, until the morning. We'll miss the show, I just don't think we're gonna be able to do it. It's Friday night, and I was not expecting to have to make this phone call. This sucks. Hello? Bradley, Rob. Hey, Rob, how's it going? Well, well everything was going good, except we now we have a problem, and it ain't looking good. Oh, man, what's up? The guys at Millennium Tire, um, everything was good, and their guys were coming out here, but um, they just called. They have an emergency on the interstate. We're not gonna be able to get tires on this trailer uh, until the morning. So the, I, I don't think that we're gonna be able to make it, man. I swear, we'll miss the show. I just don't think we're gonna be able to do it. Basically, Brad tells me that he has a friend of a friend in the area and that he owes Brad a huge favor. Well, I make a few phone calls. I'll get right back with you. Copy that, man. Well, I thought my mission was over. But now I don't think so. Why? Well, I just got off the phone with an American trucker. And when you put a trucker on task, you generally get results. I don't know the details, but my guess is the favor that Brad was owed just got paid in full. Newsflash, these boys have kicked some serious butt and we now have new rolling stock. Of course, we still have an 11 hour trip north and we can make it by the skin of our teeth, assuming that all of the scales are gonna be closed from here to North Carolina. We don't have any time to deal with any setbacks, including the DOT, man. The clock is running and we gotta go.
Oh, time to get. Oh, Skeeter, Skeeter, Skeeter. I'm going to tell you what. We're doing it for future generations. <laughs> we drove all night, and to say the fates were with us on this haul is an understatement. Over 600 miles without a hitch. Taylorsville, North Carolina, happy to see you. We've been on the road for I don't know how many hours. I do know that it's Saturday morning. This truck is actually right there. We're going to make it to Brad's. You best believe that. What's going on here today is the 10th annual uh, truck show that we put on here at my place. And uh, as you can see, it's 50 acres full of trucks. They should be arriving any time now. That's what we're waiting on. <laughs> Everybody's snapping pictures of it already. Yeehaw. How's that, Radster? Well, listen, we got a grand prize here for you, my man. This is something that I think future generations need to see this. Kids right. that didn't know what we knew, what we got to see, and find out who Evil Knievel was. Believe it or not, I have only completed the first part of my secret master plan. The second phase starts right now, because I brought Jeff and Brad together, which means the restoration discussion can begin. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I know you're getting excited about it. Come on, like Brad. Come on, Brad. <laughs> I got this rig here, and Jeff did promise me a little tour. People have wondered what's in this truck <laughs> for years and years. <laughs> have the honors. I don't know what's in there, but I'm thinking if it's Evil Knievels, you know for a fact that it's cool. Behold. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. I got I to gotta let it soak, soak in right here. The history that we, this is steeped in history. This was one of a kind. Mac built this for him. There was, there's not another one like it. This was laying on the floor here under the carpet. He probably sat in this chair and looked at the magazine. Yeah, sometimes I get a little excited. <laughs> I can't stand anymore. Oh, now for the big money. You won't even believe this. And I know that you planted this in here. This is legit, isn't it? It's, it's legit. These are legit. It's legit. Get out of here! These are actual evil Knievel leathers. I'm actually touching them. Like I said before, Evil Knievel, the king. A man among men. And you know what? Hail to Evil Knievel. When I was a kid, I watched Evil Knievel jump 13 Mack trucks. And today, well, let's just say that I had an out of body experience. Behold, the lost Evil Knievel Mack F model cab over. Can you even believe it? Well, guess what? I can't believe it. Normally right now, I like to say mission complete. But this time, all I can safely say is, to be continued.